are some fascinating looks between her and the go. other two finalists as she went past them to go up to the top of the hill, or maybe we should say the top of the mountain, Eddie. Yes. Good decision? I think it's a, a tactical decision. She doesn't have to jump that hard, but she just needs to stay nice and balanced and do a reasonably long jump, and that will put pressure on the others. Right, she was a bit on the heel of the skis in her previous jump. Yes, Can't afford to do that now. Oh, if she does that now, she'll be in big trouble. Here she comes on the end run. Great. The biggest problem seemed to be stopping at the bottom. <laughs> exactly. She came down the jump very, very well, stayed balanced enough. Not much of a, an explosion at the takeoff, but she did enough. She was in balance enough to land on her feet. That was not a bad jump at all. Not a very long one, but a very oh, good Louise, one. Oh, Louise, how are you yeah. feeling? I loved every single <laughs> second of that. I must be sick in the head to be in You know, Heather just told me that you travel at 70 miles an hour down that slope. That's faster than my car. I absolutely <laughs> loved it. Brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. So that was your last jump. I know. I, you know what? I was determined. I thought... What? If I'm going to do the last one, I'm going off the big one. Well, what we are these love boys the fact that you did. Let's reveal your distance. jump of the night so far oh my god i honestly don't think i went anywhere near that the boys are gonna have to pull something special out the bag now well that's a gold <laughs> winner for you when you needed to you pulled it out of the bag we're gonna find out if that was enough uh, louise h everybody chloe madeley in lane two louise hazel in lane three there's no way i'm jumping guys chloe madeley oh! down for the second time nearly took louise out it's not all over yet, though. 